Hey! Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we're gonna go through some of the comic books I've been reading in 2018 and some of the ones I'm looking at for 2019. Uh, disclaimer is that I'm not gonna mention Saga in this video because uh, I already made a completely separate video about that. So uh, if you're looking to buy something to, for someone who likes Saga and you don't know which comic book to look into, I hope that this is going to be able to give you a tip or two. Uh, the first one that I'm going to mention is uh, scoring quite high on everything. Everything from characters to graphics to just, just the way they are uh, portrayed in the, in the comic book. I, I love it. I love Monstrous. Monstrous is amazing. If you're going to pick up one book, like these are the volumes, this is the, the series. It's, it's very dark, I have to say, but um, it's quite fascinating as well. Uh, the story is, it reminds me of some kind of old uh, video game in a way. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, so feel free to read it yourselves. But uh, as some of you know, I really like when a person isn't necessarily good or bad, but a mixture of both. And I think that in this book, there are a lot of characters who are like that. Second is a favorite, a big favorite, and her name is Faith. Uh, so this is a comic book that kind of goes against everything in terms of how women in comic books or how female heroes are supposed to be portrayed and how they're supposed to look. Uh, she's such a sassy superhero. She doesn't give a shit about anything. She's just doing her thing uh, And I I really look forward to the upcoming volumes of this one. I'm really happy. I got these Next one is kind of a sad story as they uh, only made the two volumes and then they discontinued her uh, It's the She-Hulk series um, I I'm so sad that they chose to discontinue this because it was, in my opinion, really well made. Uh, I love the fact that she has her own life, like she's a regular person as well, but then she's also a superhero. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, they cater a lot to the Iron Man public, there are a lot of inside jokes. Um, I'm, I'm really, really sad that they chose to discontinue it, but I feel like you're I mean, you should really pick up these two at least because it's a fun read and the, the graphics are great. So if Monstrous is my number one pick for this year, my number two pick is bound to be Lady Mechanica. It's a, it's a ode to everything that is cyberpunk and uh, it's, it's well written. She has a little mean side to her that I like and uh, the series is great. The stories are interesting. I mean, whoever made these costumes is a genius and uh, all in all, it's it's a great book to pick up. To anyone who loved uh, anything in terms of cyberpunk or, or saga-esque feeling in comics, I mean, pick it up if you can. It is priced a bit higher than your regular uh, comic book, but it's definitely worth it. On to a comic book that I have sort of a love-hate relationship with, to be honest. Snot Girl. Um, She's, she's confusing. Uh, she's a blogger, she's kind of bratty, uh, she's very shallow, but still I kind of want to read it anyways, I don't know why. <laughs> so uh, the, uh, it's, it's drawn and written quite different uh, and I mean it's a nice to have if you like comic books. I don't know. Uh, it's not. I'm not gonna run to buy the third volume. Uh, nothing like that. But I don't hate it. Okay. I feel like I need to kind of rearrange everything again. So if we drop uh, Monstrous to number two and Lady Mechanica to number three, I think that this is actually my primary pick for this year's comic books. It's The Wicked and the Divine. Uh, I believe they released eight volumes already uh, and it's, it's fascinating. It's amazing. Uh, it's built on a lot of uh, current pop culture. Uh, there are a lot of different ethnicities. There are a lot of different um, 
sexualities, a lot of different characters and it really speaks to anyone and everyone, I would say. Um, the story is intriguing, it kind of marries uh, old mythology type of thoughts and brings out some of the gods within history, uh, but also gives them a very modern take and very modern types of problems. So it's kind of like humanizing uh, gods in a way, which is... Yeah, uh, I totally forgot about it before I picked it up in my hands, but this is definitely my top pick for this year. Now on to the picks that I'm starting 2019 with. Uh, there are a couple of new volumes that I bought uh, recently and then there are a couple that I've saved from 2018 that I wanted to wait with reading. Um, and the first one, I have to say I've over the past years been a bit disappointed with Marvel. I haven't felt like they're really being innovative. I don't feel like they're listening to their customer. Um, but I, in any case, picked up a new series of X-Men. Uh, and this one is specifically about the, the women uh, in X-Men. Um, I had a quick look through it. I, I like the way that they've uh, re redrawn uh, the characters. I like the way that they um, have... Uh, I like the types of characters that they've chosen to highlight in this and um, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm not a huge Marvel fan anymore. I grew up on Marvel and DC uh, but they've actually made me disappointed quite a few times so I'm hoping that this is gonna be a breath of fresh air. Speaking of DC and their Dark Knight, uh, this is a comic book that I picked up uh, quite a long time ago through Insock Trades, but for some reason I haven't read it yet. I don't know why. Um, so I really look forward to giving this a chance, and I will do a review on all of these as well uh, to to say if I if I like them or if I do not like them. So stay tuned for that. So a Dark Horse comic that I haven't seen anyone review and I haven't read about yet. I just found it when I was walking through the comics, the sci-fi bookstore in Stockholm. It's called Lady Killer and it's a Dark Horse comic. Uh, it kind of caters to the 1920s and it, um, I really, really like female superheroes, obviously. So uh, that was part of the the intrigue for me when I saw this one. Uh, I picked it up today actually and I can't wait to, to open it and read it. Really look forward to this one. Now this is where my inner nerd uh, would actually want to buy two of the same copy because uh, I got the Batman and Catwoman uh, wedding album and this is the deluxe edition so I don't really know if I want to open it. Is that weird? Part of me really wants to open it, but another part of me wants to keep it like this and save it somewhere, like for my grandkids to inherit or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next. Lady Cop Sarah is my, my favorite Italian police officer uh, that carries the Witchblade. Haha. <laughs> she's, she's so intriguing and this version is... Uh, yeah, I... I haven't read it yet. The artwork looks fantastic. Look at this. And I, I can't wait to read this one as well. So it's a 2019 read for me. We'll get back to that one. I also managed to pick up uh, Fairest. I think that it's the same creators that made Fables. Uh, and like mixed opinions on how women are portrayed in this one. But hey, I'm going to give it a go anyways because I'm all out of new comic books and I thought that uh, might as well read something, right? And finally, the one that I'm most excited about, I managed to pick up the winner of the Hugo Award. Uh, it's called The Sandman and I, it took forever to make. The artwork in this is one of its kind and you know how much I love graphics. So, uh, this is definitely one that I'm thinking of reading for like New Year's Eve or something so that I make it really special because uh, it just, it looks, I will show you, it looks fantastic. Look at this. So again, can't wait to start reading that one. It's gonna be a blast. 
So that was a quick one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a few tips. Uh, I usually buy my comic books either on in stock trades, uh, but then you have to pay toll if you're in Sweden. So uh, it's a good idea to go together a couple of friends and buy comic books together because then you can split it. Uh, or I go to the sci fi bookstore or I go to Comics Heaven in Gamla Stan in Stockholm. Uh, so, Comics Heaven are um, pre owned and uh, the sci fi bookstore are brand new ones. So, uh, they're both good. I, I love the fact that you can walk through it like a library. But uh, on the other hand, I mean, they don't always have all of the latest comic books. So, uh, sometimes you can just go online. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.